It's time for Alan McGordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. Potential tropical cyclone 8 is expected to bring tropical storm force winds, heavy rain, coastal flooding, and high surf to portions of the southeastern U.S. over the next few days. Scattered flash and urban flooding, as well as minor river flooding, is also expected across eastern North Carolina and northeastern South Carolina. Closer to home, isolated to scattered showers and storms are expected today, with lesser coverage going into tomorrow. Dry conditions will then prevail for much of the remainder of the week, while temperatures continue to be near or maybe slightly above normal through this week. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. AlamogordoTownNews.org has led in the reporting of this story. Residents of local mobile home parks have mobilized in 2024 as a force to be reckoned with concerning abhorrent conditions of several area parks. Local residents have pressured local politicians to action as a result of parks going without gas, water, and basic upkeep. These individuals have championed compliance with the New Mexico Mobile Home Act and engaging with the Attorney General's office as well as the media. According to resident Gary Perry, the owner drags his feet on repairs. Perry had to get the New Mexico AG's office to intervene with the owner to get a repair on one of the many water breaks so that residents didn't have to go without water for three days. The security gate has also been broken for some time, but repairs have been delayed. That being said, on June 1st, the lot rent increased by nearly 12%. On a good note, over the weekend, residents were sent a notice of road and water line construction. However, the owner has yet to fix the gas problem at Desert Palms. The Alamogordo Police Department has been alerted to a new email scam making the rounds. Scammers are using online photographs of people's addresses to make their threats seem more real. They then claim that if you don't send them Bitcoin, they're going to release fake incriminating videos of you to your contacts. If you receive any suspicious emails, phone calls, or texts from unknown sources, do not engage or respond. Simply report it to law enforcement. Please be advised that beginning today, the bridge located west of the intersection of Washington and 10th will be under construction. You can anticipate lane closures, detours, and congestion as the work commences on the north and south sides of the bridge. Now, this is going to result in a slower speed limit down to 25 miles per hour on 10th between Utah and Washington. Also, be advised of paint striping, water blasting, and thermal marking. That's going to be performed for multiple areas beginning this Friday. The City of Alamogordo Local Hazard Mitigation Plan Open Comment Review Period is now open. Public input is a critical part of the process, and community members, as well as residents, are highly encouraged to participate, provide comments, and ask questions. Public comments and feedback are encouraged and can be submitted online now through September 20th on the City of Alamogordo Facebook page. The Alamogordo Chess Club weekly meetings are at Plateau Espresso, 2724 North Scenic, every Monday from 4 until 7. It's casual chess, so pair up with whomever is available. There are no membership requirements or fees. Simply show up with a board, set it up, and play. All are welcome. Also, there are two tournaments in Las Cruces next weekend. The Village of Tularosa's regular village meeting is taking place on Wednesday at 6 p.m., the meeting agenda has been posted in full on villageoftularosa.com. With many hands, we'll be planting winter vegetables this Wednesday. We spoke with Greg Gutierrez. And we're also going to plant some fall flowers to bring some color to the garden as well, like uh, chrysanthemums and marigolds. And also we have some cone flowers. A lot of excitement going to be happening this Wednesday, and I'm hoping to... See you guys there. Greg and I also discussed the demise of Keep Tularosa Beautiful and the heartache that brought along. You can hear our conversation in full on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please call or text Greg 480-489-1111. The garden is located between Village Hall and the fire station. The Lincoln National Forest's 29th Annual Youth Fishing Day is coming up on Saturday, September 28th. That's going to happen at Grindstone. We heard from Amanda Fry, the public affairs officer for the Lincoln National Forest. The event will be held on Saturday, September 28th, starting at 8 a.m. We do have gear and everything ready to go for 
kids ages 12 and under. There's going to be prizes, educational booths, and all sorts of fun stuff. It is free to the public, so head on over. And it's a great way to celebrate our forest and the local area just opening up again after the South Fork and Salt Fire. So we're really excited. No experience is required. If you have any questions, please see the Lincoln National Forest Facebook page. Well, today is Monday. It's time for a pup date from Animal Village NM. Hi, this is Sunny Harris with Animal Village NM up here in beautiful pine scented Ruidoso. And we are still helping Otero County as well as Lincoln County. We've been doing this for animals since 2007. We're not the new kids on the block. And we've provided more than 10,000 subsidies for low income, low cost spay neuter surgeries since 2007. We've averaged 8,000 pounds and more of pet food every year to area food banks. We are still stocking and will continue, God willing, to stock the Lincoln County Food Bank at 131 Service Road in Ruidoso and Love, Inc. at 1106 Ohio Street in Alamogordo, right next to Lowe's Supermarket. But I want to talk to you today about spay and neuter. You know, we can talk and talk and talk about how it increases your chances of having a healthy pet who lives a long life and avoiding cancer by more than 70% on average. We can talk about how pets don't want to run away, dig under fences, jump over fences to escape because they're intact and they smell a female in heat or they're a female in heat who want to get to the boys who are very interested. And we can talk about how they won't get hit by cars because they won't be escaping. We can talk about how there won't be litters of puppies for people to care for and spend money on, only to have to turn them into the pound where they'll either be killed or rescues will have to gird their financial loins and work tirelessly to get them to rescues out of state. There just aren't enough homes, and that is why New Mexico has the number one rate of pet abandonment in America. The number one rate of pet abandonment in America. Folks, it is irresponsible not to stay or neuter your pet. But how many of us have several hundred dollars laying around to get them spayed or neutered, especially large dogs? We understand that at Animal Village NM, and we work tirelessly to raise money to really, we're professional beggars. That's what a nonprofit does. We beg people to help people who need the help. And that is one in five to two in five in Otero County and Lincoln County who live under the poverty line. So we are so excited to announce that we had our first registration at the White Sands Mall just inside the Ashley Furniture entrance last Monday. And we will register again the second Monday of each month until every pet is spayed or neutered in Otero County, as long as we have the money. AnimalVillageNM.org. News from around the state in just a moment. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. Directory Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a phone book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side. Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. Local news from local perspectives, from local voices. AlmogoroTownNews.org Local sports, local events, and local happenings and more. Nonprofit owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. AlmogoroTownNews.org Heard daily on Crazy KALH Radio 95.1 The Eddy County Sheriff's Office says infant remains were found last Friday following a tip about a missing infant. The remains were located just outside of Carlsbad, near Queen, New Mexico. The Office of the Medical Investigator determined that the remains are those of an infant still working to identify. Eddy County Sheriff Reps say this case does not involve an abduction. There are no suspects wanted at this time, but the investigation continues. Investigators with the New Mexico State Police responded to a shooting involving the Deming Police Department. The Investigations Bureau reports a Deming police officer tried to make a traffic stop for careless driving around 4.30 Saturday morning. The driver refused to stop. Investigators said that's when a pursuit began, ending after the vehicle drove through a barbed wire fence, striking a cable box, and getting stuck in a field. When the officer approached the vehicle, the driver was able to get the vehicle unstuck and began driving in the direction of the officer. 
The officer managed to fire off a round from his duty weapon. At that point, the driver surrendered and was taken into custody. The driver has been identified as Cassandra Castro, age 32. She was not struck by gunfire, but she was booked into the Luna County Detention Center, and she faces aggravated assault on a police officer, as well as aggravated fleeing a law enforcement officer. She also had an outstanding warrant for failure to appear on an original charge of dangerous drugs. The New Mexico State Police say they are continuing this investigation. Walgreens has agreed to settle a lawsuit for $106 million involving the states of Texas, Florida, and New Mexico. What did the company allegedly do exactly? United States New Mexico District Attorney Alexander Yabales explained this to KRQE. Walgreens is billing the taxpayers via Medicare, Medicaid, and other programs uh, for those prescriptions, which, which essentially went back on the shelves for them to sell to somebody else. By doing this, the settlement claims that Walgreens received tens of millions of dollars for prescriptions, but they were never given to customers. Moving forward, Walgreens will be responsible for building a new pharmacy management system to prevent this from happening in the future. Every corporation has a responsibility to make sure that the way in which they're building the federal governments, in the same way they have a responsibility to make sure the way that they build private citizens is correct. By agreeing to the settlement, Walgreens is not admitting any wrongdoing or guilt. Republican Ward 53 is having a meeting tomorrow at 6.30 at the Betty McKnight Center in Chaparral. Scheduled special guest is Liz Winterroad. An exhibition by renowned Messiah photographer Emmett Boer, Dunes and Dreams, a portrait of White Sands National Park, opened this past Friday at the Brannigan Cultural Center in downtown Las Cruces. The exhibit will run through October 16th, and includes 21 black and white photos taken over 14 years by Boer. This project happened over many, many years and just kind of evolved into uh, the photographs that I'm presenting in this particular collection. It was based on a more intimate theme of White Sands National Park at this point, and it, of course, was a national monument when I started the project. Boer went on to say that the reason he photographs using black and white is because he's colorblind. So this is how he sees the world, and it gives us all a shared experience. The contrast somewhat reminds me of the work of Ansel Adams. KRWG has the entire conversation posted on their website. Sports and weather are coming up next. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, they just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. There are two matches for New Mexico volleyball today, including Mountaineer at Magdalena and Escalante heads to Cimarron. Your crazy radio spot on weather forecast for the Tula Rosa Basin today calls for mostly sunny skies with a 20% chance of showers and storms, winds gusting up to 21 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and storms. New rainfall amounts less than one-tenth of an inch expected. Winds will be gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow with a 30% chance of showers and storms. New precipitation amounts less than one-tenth of an inch expected. Winds gusting as high as 22. Your high today in the basin, 88. Low tonight of 63, high tomorrow, 88 degrees. In Cloudcroft, mostly sunny skies today with a 40% chance of showers and storms, winds gusting up to 21 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies tonight with a 30% chance of showers and storms. New precipitation amounts less than one-tenth of an inch expected. Winds will be gusting as high as 16. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with a 40% chance of showers and storms. New precipitation amounts up to a quarter of an inch expected. Winds will be gusting up to 22. You're high today in Cloudcroft, 69, low tonight of 47, high tomorrow, 66 degrees. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.org, and you can learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting kalhradio.org. Also, check out the Crazy KALH Radio YouTube channel. That's where we post our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. That way you too can remain informed of the goings-on in the Tularosa Basin. And that concludes this Monday edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero.